Well, good day there, friends, and welcome back. You're with Huey, and of course, we are continuing on with our Red Dead Redemption 2 campaign replay. And uh, before I forget, let's set my timer. <laughs> yeah, I do apologize for last week's episode being quite long. Uh, yeah, made a bit of a mess of that last mission. Um, but we got through it somehow. I think we got a silver from that, despite everything. That was a week ago, so... <laughs> Although, full disclaimer, I am pre-recording these, of course. That's right, I was on my... Hey, who's there? Oh, God. <laughs> Arthur, dumbass! Look who's back! Anyway, uh, so we've got a couple of options here, actually. So we've got uh, Mary who needs to speak with us. That's right. I wonder if we should go do that. Or we'll go and speak with Hosea. Well, we're back at camp. May as well go talk to Hosea. Stats are okay. What just happened to that horse just then, but it was pretty funny. Over here will do where all the other horses are. Hosea. Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I just bought a gown. <laughs> <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> this way, please, gentlemen. <laughs> Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Mr. Brante, he has a the thing, you know. A respect. Jose, the Bill, thing. you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor What the Brante. hell? Come, come. I didn't hit shift. Anyway. Control's doing weird things on me. Again. <laughs> That's alright. It's a very fancy house. Ah, 
the angry cowboys, you've arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. What did you lock that door for? Hmm. Interesting. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santa Fe. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Evening. All right. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob him. Bill, go make us some new friends. We'll find mm. I kind of feel for him. I, I feel exact exactly how he feels. Get me a bloody drink, will you? A small one. Just big enough for me to swim the lengths in, you know? Yes, madam. <laughs> you know, I... Whew, great fuck, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a great beauty. And an even greater wit. What a total bastard it is. Amen. Oh, it's, um... You look me 
in the eye and tell me in all honesty that I am not the equal of any man you've ever met. You're preaching again, Mrs. Whitlow. And you're burying your head in the sand again, sir. <clears throat> Don't blame me for God's mistakes, if they were mistakes. <laughs> what do you mean? Women are inferior to men, madam. It's not my fault. It's a fact. Undeniable. Demonstrable. I will not deny it simply because of fashion. I'm intrigued, sir, to hear your arguments. I am your clear superior. You're different, but you're neither my better nor my inferior, sir. Okay, madam. I will not prove it by publicly thrashing you. Uh, well, I, you're stronger than me, sure. But as civilized beings, haven't we moved past that? <laughs> Apparently not. Good evening to you, sir. I will go find some other people to threaten to hit me, if that's okay with you, sir. What a dick. Should punch him out. But anyway, I got work to do. Intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land, and that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I am not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Okay. Good day, sir. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? I don't know. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! 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 My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Is that room seven? All right, we're gonna go sneaky again. Hello there. Look at that. Sure, they're just watching fireworks. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Is 
everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps dinging. The mayor said he will sign later. Chip and beat him. I will not have stand or slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. All right. Let's follow this prick upstairs. That was easy. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. Hmm. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Okay. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. <laughs> if you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Well. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. 
He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Don't trust Bronte. I didn't the first time, and I don't definitely don't this time. Oh, okay, silver. All right. Let's see. Pour some drinks. Really, accept a gift and save a life. Guess I rushed through that too quickly. Um, uh, yep, we got my guns. Alright. What's this over here? I got something... It's just some... ammo. Sitting on my bed. I think I'm pretty well right. That's a money sitch. Pretty good. As long as we don't get ourselves into trouble with the law again. Alright, so having a look at the map, we have a question mark. So that's um, Evelyn Miller. I want to go see Mary Linton first. So <clears throat> yeah, let's go do that. I'll have to remember to go straight down here. Probably be quicker, and then up that main avenue. Yep. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good Arthur. Point. Morning. All right. Oh, no. We don't need you getting in no more trouble. Oh, the stew there. Nice. Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. <sighs> don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank you. I think. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then, Arthur. Time for some stew. How's it going? About as well as can be expected. Hello. Good. Don't you have any warmer clothes? No. You're going to catch a chill. I'm fine. Chill out. <laughs> So, so. Scuff it all down. Mr. Esquilla. Hi, gentlemen. Morning. But back already? Huh? Anything I need to know about? Not that I can think of. Alrighty. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Reverend? I've been wanting to ask you something. I've been wanting to for days. Okay. What is it? The perfect image to start my day. I can't remember. Oh, this frightful curse. I've ruined my life with it. Then stop doing it. 
Oh, no, sir. I can't do that. Really. I can't. Read. Nothing you'd like. Well, pardon me for breathing. Arthur. Yes. Hey, Lenny. Why have I got the, um... Anyway. Morning. Morning. Is Grimshaw keeping off your back? I wish. Well, just keep your head down. All right, then. Okay. So... For some reason... I've got my handkerchief back on. So I've got my custom outfit. Yeah, that's... Oh, sorry, my bandana. I don't know why, but whatever. Boy. Let's get going. Yeah. Yes, but that was certainly an interesting party. Well, not really. I couldn't think of a worse place to go. Not personally. Something like that. Just too... Uh, just too much. Place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. You gotta do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sack out in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Oh. Uh, I go by finding more help. Go and help. You okay, boy? Yeah. yeah. There, boy. How you doing, boy? You for one more second. Oh, you gonna hurt my feelings with talk like that. No! Someone help me! Oh, shit! Help! Help, bastards! Oh, please, please! Please, untie me now! I'm sorry I weren't here sooner. Get rid of him. Just let's get some food, uh, alligator food. There we go. Well taken care of. There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Alright. Thanks.
Where? Oh yeah. Oh, thank you again. You my garden angel. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. You're all right now, ma'am. So. <laughs> Let's hope my Horace found another guardian angel like you. All right, let's go. Feels good to help. Especially situations like that. Even if it is, uh... You know. Hey, make believe. Boy. Whatever. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I was right. I was right before uh, a few episodes back. You'd, once you holster your weapon, you don't have to reload. Yeah. Don't much like swamps, I gotta say. <laughs> some people do for some reason. Yeah, you all right there, boy? Keep going down this way. Ain't you got somewhere to be? Yes, I do actually. As we'll go up here. Oh, jeez. Huge frame drop. But like I said, I think it's because it's rendering so much. for me I've come uh, oh Arthur what's wrong daddy your father I'm a bigger fool than I even thought I, I'm begging you Arthur I know daddy was not kind to you but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than than, than me then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else. 
But... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. <sighs> it wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? <sighs> He's a sucker. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. <laughs> no, it isn't. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? All right. I'm not sure. <clears throat> he keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. <laughs> he wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. What are you doing? Hitching my horse. What do you think? This is the place. Go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. <laughs> you can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady, it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired. I have no dress. such thing. You get away from me, you head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. He went around the corner. Oh, did he now? I couldn't tell. Jeez. Oh. 
Hold up, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. I did clean myself. I just came from a friggin' fancy party. What are you talking about? He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Don't lose sight of him. Stop just around the corner. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Yeah. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You? That's theft. Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, would you like to call me? Hey, you, Ashton! Hold her right there! I mean, I have to get my horse. Hope I can get it in time. Yep. Looks like I did, and it worked this time. You hear me? Stop the damn coach! Get back here! God damn it! You stop right now! Hey, 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> it said to jump, so I jumped and... Uh, these clunky mechanics. There we go. Oh, he's inside the wagon, okay. Let me out of here! I bought that roach fair and square! Let me go! Don't care. This is insane. Get out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. I'm just fired off him. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. I could have beat him up, but... <clears throat> anyway. Oh, good. Shortcut. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Sure, let's go on a date. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? Uh, It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relour. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, <laughs> shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lane. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> 
sort of beautiful mm. in a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. So we're enjoying a night at the theater. Theater. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It gives you the option to exit at any time, but. Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest well, assembler right. of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a or not? Are you in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Make a move. joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. <laughs> they come from Roadstraw, Perry and Valentine singing a song and drinking wine across by your swamp and over the sea, we're heading down to San Denis. If your wagon is broken to the blacksmith shop, don't worry yourself with planting a crop. The girls are wearing a brand new gown. We're heading to the San Denis town. Carpet baggers, coal miners, and mountain folk. Okay. Loosen them stirrups and let off that yoke. Pretty young things say, Come with. <laughs> There's dancing and singing and howling out the moon in the streets and alleys of each saloon. The rich and poor and the bourgeoisie, they's all heading down to San Denis. Friends didn't really give us much, except wine and grapes and fancy such and such. Pretend to be French, but can't you see? I'd rather live in San Denis. Yes, yeah, it's just wonderful. I don't make a move on it yet. Maybe it's like once per act you can. Oh, oh. Flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you. You you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. 
Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. Mm. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. Stop it. Amazing. Hasn't started yet. <laughs> Not doing much with it though, but yeah. You imagine doing that every day? I can't think of anything worse. You Apparently she breathes fire. Ooh, I like hot things too. <laughs> it's not giving us the option to try again, which kind of sucks, but. Okay. She sure is hot. <laughs> this is the best. Not really, but I guess it would have been back in those days, maybe. Where's the fire breathing? Where the hell is the fire breathing? Come on! Truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. Well, this will be interesting. Oh, show us those bloomers.
pretty sure Arthur would probably dig this uh, out of all the acts. This would be his favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No. That was interesting, kind of wholesome too, I gotta say. Is that it? Oh, incredible! Oh. Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each I of bet. my shows is truly incredulous, awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder you through the this? morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. That's it. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. It was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, and I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. It's a sad story that repeats itself time and time again. Good men, or women, getting wrapped up in shit that, uh, you know, just for one reason or another just 
can't or won't. Ah, oh, damn. If I hadn't have fallen off that damn horse. Anyway. But we got a silver, so hey, that's good. Yeah, there's a lot of um, themes in this game which kind of hit close to home, don't they? So we got uh, Sadie. Oh, Sadie Adler. Okay. And then we've got... Uh, Alright, let's go talk to our um, Native American friends. I don't know where my horse is. No idea. Oh, it's just down there. Okay. Maybe I can call it? Oh, I better... Let's make this a bit easier on myself. Did it again. I'll see if I can get my horse to come. There he is. Let's give him a clean. Yeah, he's looking a bit dirty. Clean him off. You good down? I think he's still a little dirty, but anyway. Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say... Uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. 
I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Hmm. It's pretty sad. Anyway. So next. Probably pushing it a bit, but let's go see Trelawney. Wants to meet me in the tailors, okay. What? Problema. Pro problema. Problema. Evening. Okay there. What could possibly be the matter? Absolutely nothing, my dear. I think you gotta approach it from this side. Yeah. So approach it from this Good side. Evening. Which doesn't make a lot of sense that you have to hitch him from a certain angle. But anyway. Evening, sir. Where the hell is he? <clears throat> oh, there you are, my dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi River boat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? <laughs> of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. All right, whatever you say, man. Hello, can I help you gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault, his grandfather. I'm guessing that's the one we have to get. Jealous people. Mm. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. Oh, God. <laughs> 
Just a fine three-piece town suit, sir. Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. Okay. A very good choice, sir. Dear idea. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Yeah, the barber for. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. <laughs> oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! Into the barbershop. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? All right, I... This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not that they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Uh, clean shaven. Yeah, we're going to clean shaven. Just for this. There we go. Make this. him look like a prince, sir. There, very smart. Come on, let's feel naked. To the docks. Feel I naked without my beard. For us. Oh God, we're, we're doing this now. All right. I hope it doesn't take too long. George! Mm. To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me. Have your head no set. shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't Hamlet. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. Let's see how we go. What money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, 
Yes, believe me, I heard every word. Arthur the author. Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. All right. There they are. are you Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cup? All right. <clears throat> Let's go have a seat. Take a seat, sir. Follow his instructions. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, My. how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> to hell with it. Here we go, then. All in. Well, Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. Ooh, two queens. I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Yeah, I'm gonna race. You got enough chips there to go a little higher? I like a confident man, Mr. Blythe. Uh, 84? Yeah, I'll, uh, raise. I'll call. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. All right. Call. Interesting. They're cowgirls. Oh, we win 400 Shit. bucks. Shit! I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. 
Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. All right. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. So, I'm on well, too. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Oops. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen. Please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Oh, <laughs> I shit. Know, I know. Well, this guy's I gonna die. You're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand, plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here, come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Let's get out of here. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. No, sir, my friend is not a no and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There, 
he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> Oh, I thought that was... Someone died? Really? How have you died? <clears throat> Come on, let's get the hell out of here! Oh, I'll give you a suggest. I don't know, this ain't my show! Silly me, I clean forgot. That's a shame. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a right lingo, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Shame we didn't make a clean getaway. But I'll take it. Holy shit. So what happened? I'm getting poker without Strauss's help. Okay. Complete the mission without taking any health items. I don't get that one, but... Alright. Anyway. Um, yeah. All in all, I'm pretty happy with that, despite the... Javier getting killed uh, right at the end there, so you know, it happens but uh, all in all yeah, I quite enjoyed that episode in particular especially the, you know, the, the really wholesome um, theatre uh, excursion we took oh no that was a mistake that was a huge mistake. I meant to save, not load. Oh, I hope I um. I hope that was an auto save. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I was too busy talking and not paying attention. <clears throat> so load game. Where's the auto saves? Should be that one. Okay. Phew. Incredible.
I'm going to overwrite that last save. <laughs> so, damn it. I meant to do a manual save because I like to do those before I leave. Thank God I just got myself a new MBMA drive. Alright, so yeah, we we just done that, we got Sadie. Alright, cool. <clears throat> um story Save game, not load. God, just was not paying attention, was I? Save. Thank you. Alright folks, well that's enough from me. I uh, hope you enjoyed that episode. I think that was probably one of my favourite um, episodes of this playthrough. So let me know if you agree and or if you disagree and uh, you know why you disagree. I'd be, um, you know, I'm always open to having discussions of that nature. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the end of this one. Hope to see you next week. But as I always say, until then, take it easy, everyone, and bye for now.